That's enough. Stop. Down. Both of you. I'm here, by the way. Oh, okay. Hello. Yeah. And I suppose we should probably just wait until a door pops in before beginning to. Well, yeah. He's going to be on his way. So that's going to be nice. Who is? Door. Door. Oh, he, oh, he just, oh, I didn't see that. Good. Um, Iron Liz, I um, I thought she was going to be late, but she may have said something about not being able to make it at all. If I recall right, it was something along the lines of a special meeting of some kind designated for exactly as this game was going to begin. Yes, that was it. That's it. She's got so some. It could be she's right still now. wrapped up in stuff that nobody wants to be at. Which yeah, is yeah, that's right. I remember now. What's your religion, Garrett? What deity do you worship? Uh, I think as far as uh, Garrett goes, Renald. Renald, okay. And anyone else on? Or is it just you? Yes. Hello. Arcoy? Also here. Yeah. Um, and so what are your gods? Renald. Okay, we got a couple of Renalds. I mean, you already know mine. Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Um... Yeah, you don't have a choice. <laughs> uh, and then finally, anyone worshiping Sigmar? Hey, Dor. I don't know. I'm kind of torn between like Sigmar and Ulrich as it stands. I mean, if you're not like an actual like uh, religious class person, you could just honestly pick both. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's how it works. You can, it's not that specific at all. I am something of a theological generalist, or Ivo is. Which is fine. Yeah. This, he is agnostic. Um, well, yeah, the regular agnostic. peasantry just like gives worship to whoever they need to whenever they're doing the thing that has to be done. Okay, so yeah. you, you guys are currently at, we got one minute. I'll just go ahead and start. You guys are currently at the Temple of Verena. Mm -hmm. You have found out that the Ordo Septenarius has seven members that are part of the High Council. Uh, you have found out that when the grinning moon doth, when the moon doth grow and grin unnaturally in the sky, a time of change and flux shall ensue. The great mutator shall then take his pleasure and mortals will feed his hunger. And you also found out that Johannes Tugan's brother, died two years ago, shortly after Johannes Tugan came back from Nome, and he died of a very strange disease in which his eyes bulged up and his tongue swelled up huge. And turned purple. And turned purple. Yep. And I was just looking at the map and realized, oh, Edelring has nine houses. I think it has like twelve. Like, the lower side is very clear with one, two, three, four, five, six. It's 12. 12 houses around the Yeah. Room. Okay. Never right. mind. So. I think I was going by, like, the... Four yeah, eleven. Would have been funny if that was the case, though. Yeah, this one almost looks like it's the same house, but I'm pretty sure it's two, so. <laughs> yeah, those are two. So. So, yeah, I thought that was one, and I thought the magistrate's place was one. Mm-hmm. But anyways, at this point, uh, she did say you could go to the Physicians Guild if you want to find out a little more info about how Carl died. Um, and the Physicians Guild, I believe, is right here. Find out. Ten. No, that's Guard Barracks. Uh, where's Physicians Guild? 34? Yeah, that's right. It's over here. 
Um, you know, I do have a magical sort of question. Uh-huh. Uh, that I like to ask before we leave. You see, mm -hmm. I've become concerned about, uh, some encounters we've had before where some people have used this symbol, and I'll draw out the, what I remember seeing on the floor, to try to summon things. And I worry what would happen if they were to do so. Would any of your books know the correct way to disrupt what's been done make if we were to encounter roll. it again make a percent roll. percent roll. percent yeah just straight up no. 20 no that's a good roll though no yeah <laughs> they've got nothing in there having books like that is treasonous even all having... right right, right. I guess this is more like Witch Hunter's Guide to Not Letting Everything Get Fucked Up, honestly. Exactly. That's what I'm exactly. asking for. <laughs> yeah. Books that have chaos, talk about chaos, or even to disrupt chaos are illegal. Mm. And, and you can be brought up on charges of heresy. So Hammer of the Witch is definitely not something that got published in this setting. Mm-mm. So there is a thing any cool. practical advice for dealing with uh, strange wizards such as those. Uh, she thinks about it. Um, from well, technically, I haven't read anything about it, but in my readings, she says, uh, "Disrupt the ring." If you can break the ring, that might stop it. That makes sense. And uh, out of character, refresh my memory. That ring was made in blood again, wasn't it? Chalk. Chalk. Yeah. Okay, so like water would do here. Uh huh. Or even just like your foot. So your foot. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I can't think of anything productive to do here other than just outright blurting everything out and going, want to be co-conspirators? Uh, so I think I'm done for the moment. Okay. Where do you want to go next? We're going to make oh it God, if the, two, uh, two in the afternoon if, right now. It just occurred to me, if the Adel Ring is, somehow was a giant summoning circle, then yes! Arson actually would be the answer, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Though at least we could declare that our visions before were of a warehouse bursting and at least narrow it down there. This is true. That's probably the only reason. I'm wondering, do, should we really trust the wizard? <laughs> Insofar as one can trust a wizard... To be fair, being an elf is probably being an elven wizard is probably a slight mark above. Are you there, Fractured? I haven't heard a word from you. Fractured? It hasn't really been a moment to say anything yet. I don't even oh, know. What's going on. There we go. I just explained. Uh, they um, tracked down the guy at the warehouse over here and found out he's just a nobody worker. Um, they found out that this um, Ordo Septenarius has seven members at the height, and they got a, a madman screaming at Garrett, saying, "I see seven, I see nine, and they all, and all they had will be mine, mine, mine. The star within the circle is the sign of death. Beware the man who is not a man." Right. <clears throat> And the man okay. who isn't a man at least might be the mayor because it appears that he may be a vampire. Well, stab him. See what happens. We could always go talk to the uh, Malpheus, the circus man, who apparently talked to the dwarf and at least offered him some advice. So we could go back and talk to him and return the bones. Um, 
And also, I do have ultimately a plan. The only question would be uh, when to do it and how wrong we can be. So <laughs> I'm, I'm sure everyone else has mostly figured it out by now. Um, tell you what, let's go to the feast tag and talk to the Malthus. You got a bone to return again? to him anyway. Okay, so you. All right, I do. You go down and you find Doctor Malthus, and uh, he's in his coach at the moment, being in between mm -hmm. shows at the moment. So you guys go up the stairs into his coach. It's was at one point probably really nice. Now it just looks worn. And he, yes. What can I do for you? You're here. Can I help? Well, I do believe we have something to return. I produce yes? the I produce the uh, pelvis. Oh, yes, that would be my goblin. Such a shame. He was the centerpiece of my show. Uh, do you have anything else, or just that? Sadly, I don't believe we do from the goblin. Oh, so. that's not going to do. I, it's not enough for me to actually build a statue. Or to be fair, there wasn't there. very much left. Yes, yes, I heard. I heard, yes, the dwarf told me everything. Durak told me everything. Sorry, Master Dwarf. And he says, so something is afoot. They refuse to return the bones. You have, obviously, them. I've heard there's demons underneath the sewers. Oh, so you've heard of that too now. That moon is no good. I, I say I feel some sort of evil is coming. Too true. Would it be all right if we came inside for a moment? Yes. Come on in. Close right. the door. There we go. Private conversations. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, I suppose I just want to ask you about what you know about the Ordo Septenarius. Ah, uh, what? The what? The, uh, yeah. the weird uh, charity collectors. Never heard they of it. They have their tent right down over there, in that direction. You haven't oh, seen them. No, no, no. I, I go from city to city. I've never I... even heard of them. Mm, I see. That's unfortunate. I'm fairly certain that they're behind quite a lot of this. I, I'm i sorry, I can't help you there. Hmm. And this would be the point for anyone with a smarter idea to ask uh, further questions of anything. I just brought people here, so what do you guys think? Hmm. Yeah, I'll... As far as like the question, line of questioning goes, I'm actually drawing a blank right now. Unless we wanted to actually go and talk about the the uh, death of Tugan's brother. Mm, right, yeah, there's always that. Or just I mean, raid the warehouse. Yeah, cause... that's sort of like the thing on the schedule right now. In my head, I'm trying to think of like, what would I ask someone else to do to help on that? And the answer is nothing because I want no one to know that we're there. <laughs> That's what keeps popping up in my mind. Uh, still, he's not going to like uh, repeat his offer of like anything I could do to help or anything. Oh, he does. Oh, okay. yeah. Of course. Yeah, just making sure. Um, what could he do to help? Well, I currently have a guess at what I need to do, mm -hmm. or what we must do, in order to try to stop this. But I don't know if it'll actually be enough evidence to, uh, to follow through, or that we'll succeed, or that we'll succeed before the time limit is reached, when they'll actually do something. It's getting to be around 3, 4 o'clock. We'll make it closer to four. Right. 
Uh, uh, Vic, uh, it was in three more days, right? No. Two more? Uh, the end of the Schaffenfest is tomorrow. It's a four-day festival. First day well, you arrived, you went through the Schaffenfest, you went... I'm story. talking about the ritual. Uh, it's at the end of the Schaffenfest. Tomorrow night. So tomorrow? Tomorrow night. Right. Uh, so I'll say, if my guess is wrong, tomorrow night, we're going to need to pick a target and raid it as quickly with as much force as possible. But if there are any guardsmen or anything else around, it would be very... It would go very poorly. Uh, I could ask you to maybe if you would be willing to do some sort of distraction when the time comes, if we can make the correct guess. And otherwise, if we get in too much trouble, uh, perhaps hide us among uh, your possessions for a little while while you leave the city. Magarius? You say that to Magarius? Of course, of course, anything I can do to help. Good. Well, that'll give us at least some sort of escape route. And if nothing else, I know how to help everyone blend in a little bit to your crew. Absolutely. We... Any service I can provide. So I'll leave you to figure out what sort of distraction you could do. And I'll figure out where we might need to do it if it has to come to that tomorrow. Everything will be on, everything would be on the line tomorrow. Okay. So you guys are all right here. And where do you go? I'm going to put Evo's counter right there. Where do you want to go? Uh, I think back to the boat. Back as to the you, safe house until dark. As you go through the gates, you see a very finely dressed, mid-50s, kindly looking, with a pendant, marking him as someone of authority. Mm -hmm. He's by himself, and he looks at you all as you're walking through, and he says, My name is Frederick Magirius. I'm a magistrate here. Would you be so kind as to join me for a dinner at the Golden Trout? Frederick. Uh, I'll look over to Lady Typhane, who might know more about the magistrates. Mm-hmm and what all this might entail, and how trustworthy he is. She's going to make an <clears throat> intuition. Um, and then I oppose that. Uh, she looks at you and she goes, uh, I, I'm not sensing any, any deception. Oh, this was me relying on her knowledge of nobility and who this person is. Mm -hmm. Is is sort of the question I was asking. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, he's definitely a magistrate, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's definitely associated with the city. He had the same pendant as Magistrate Richter, of course. But she doesn't um, know who he is. No, she's never heard of him before. <laughs> well, are you gonna pay for the meal? Yes, I'm paying. Come, Where come, is the golden You've trout? Got... It's over here. All the way over there. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> What's the occasion? I wish to have a talk with you. Mm, very well. All right. And so I'm going to use Lady Tefanes here. You're passing right by the Physician's Guild. Anyone want to make a quick stop in there? I suppose I could, like, nudge Harbaugh and um, anyone else who'd rather not go to dinner. I will join you in dinner just in case a fight breaks out. Okay. You say out so... loud. <laughs> so, you'll meet up with Harbaugh later. He wants to definitely go to the physician's kit. Okay. It's like I've said in a previous campaign. If he tries to kill us, then we'll just kill him first. And at least and one person knows what terrible things are going down. The Golden Trout is the most exclusive restaurant in the city. And 
it's actually it's kind of bizarrely laid out it's three different buildings and including some bedrooms and they take you you immediately are come up to a door with a big guard in very fine livery very fine clothes who opens up immediately magistrate and it's a member's lounge and he takes you upstairs and there's a meeting room with a long table a number of servants come up they take your orders it's wonderful food uh, you can have steak and and pork and bacon and anything that you wish um and so you he comes and he takes your orders uh, at this point, he hasn't really said much to you other than, uh, you know, what you guys want to eat. And so you guys order. Is there anything particular you want to order? Yes, everything on the menu. In fact, more than I could possibly actually eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay, he does that. Yeah. Um. Now, let's see. Let's do this. Here we go. There we go. Okay. So, you guys order. Um, and I suppose there'll be a lull while that happens where we can talk. And after your meal... He orders uh, decanters of brandy. Oh. I didn't now, even get to the food part because I want to go, oh, this is poison. Yeah. Do I want to play around it? Do I want to get the information first? But, oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Go for it. Food yeah, comes. So I want to like pry him for the questions first before food even ends up at the table. Uh-huh. Uh, so I'll go. So what could we do for you, sir magistrate? Magistrate. Oh, uh, is this before food, during food, after food? Uh, before. Before. Oh, I. We've had a series of misunderstandings between you and the city. Oh. Have... I wish to clarify them with you. But let let's eat first, and then we can do this after. Oh, well, we have so much time to wait. Let's get down to some business. What, what, no, what misunderstandings no, no. have we come no. to? No, no, no. Come and eat and drink, and, and then we'll talk about it. And at this point, he politely but very firmly directs every other question away until food comes. He's eating. Should I even bother rolling intuition on that? Go ahead. Yes, you can. Well, give me a bonus because everything is obviously suspicious about this. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a plus 20 bonus. It's an average roll. Well, watch me fail anyway. What I roll? No, no. He's on the up and up. You get oh, a sense okay. he is. Maybe not he's lying. not trying to poison and kill us. Right. Maybe he thinks that, the, that we can legitimately be talked out of doing what we're doing. Or maybe, just maybe, there is an actual misunderstanding. Though I doubt that. I doubt that heavily. All right. So Garrett's uh, paranoia is assaged for the moment. And after the meal, you guys are not poisoned. Ah, <gasps> gasp. Yeah, gasp. Uh, he orders decanters of brandy and looks at you, um, Durak, and says... And what will you be drinking? Oh, you're not coming through at all, Theta. It... Uh oh. Uh -oh. Technical difficulty. No. Can't hear you. Well, in the meantime, I'd like to say I'm not going to drink. Uh, we. Oh, you're not going to drink. Okay. The dwarf is not going to drink. No, Everyone no, that was. Well, the elf isn't. Can you that still not hear me? There we go. Hear you okay, that's weird. I did literally nothing. Nothing changed. I just asked, "Can you hear me now?" For like a minute. 
some reason was getting like a crazy amount of static for just a moment, but yeah. Again. You need to encant the ritual of uh, push to talk, really. Well, I've got that. And I've got a master. Using it for five years now. You are still a little staticky all of a sudden. The slight bit of robot noise makes me think that yeah. it's a connection issue. Yeah. How about now? Perfect. <laughs> I literally did nothing again. Wow. Weird. I think this is all on you then. That's great. <laughs> I've literally just all asked, right. how about now three times, and every time you've been like, yeah, well, yeah it's better. Mm. Now it's better. Yeah, that's Just right. some kind of spark, spike so, of interference, I guess. So, so okay. The question on everyone's mind is, what is the dwarf drinking? Whatever's left. Hey, Brandy. How much of a food cover are you in right now? Uh, I'm not. I'm just eating everything and then drinking. I'm just, it's just a giant mess where I'm at. Like, so, Mike, since I don't wear anything but the belt and the little, you know, dangly part, the loincloth bit, my chest is just covered in brandy and meat that sloughed off the bone before it got to my mouth. I'm literally a slovenly mess in my corner of the room. So he's just, yeah, all food grease is just falling off of him. And he's just focused on eating and drinking. Uh, and Megarius kind of looks at him with uh, a, uh, a look and goes, uh, now, shall we begin? Um, and he says, I can assure you there's nothing sinister about the Ordo Septenarius. Nothing at all. Why would you say something like that at all? They sound like such a wonderful charitable organization. It is. What gives uh, you the impression that we think that? I, well, because you were given money for your failed venture underneath the sewers, and you're still here, and you're asking questions at the Temple of Verena and whatnot. You have to understand, this society is confidential for a reason. It's It's a club more than anything else. And its members come from the merchant families of the town. Uh, oh. we, have, we have 49 members in all, 42 ordinary members, and an inner council of seven. Uh, we represent a kind of elite within the guild and cooperate with each other to reap the greatest profit for all. We donate to temples. We run soup kitchens in the pit. And we help the Temple of Shalia. Yeah, oh, they're... I see. So you're philanthropists. Yes, or... we are. And there are various reasons why we prefer to remain nameless. Many of our members are counselors like myself. More are in position to stand for office if they so choose. Uh, people in this position would be open to accusations of bribery and electioneering if they were to engage in various activities openly. And we don't want to see the poor suffer for that. Of course. We're both on the same page here, I think. We care about the suffering of others. We definitely would never want to see such things come to pass. Is that right? Absolutely. So you understand our need for secrecy. There are many who would reap great political advantage by discovering the membership of the Ordo. And some of our junior members might be tempted by their office. So we really wish to... <sighs> You know, you were given money, you were asked to leave, you didn't leave, and now you're you're still here. Why? Uh, well, when he says, you didn't leave, you can hear me, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming because you stopped talking that you can hear me, yeah, okay. When he says, you didn't leave, I mean, probably like a mouthful and a, a hand filled with a, a goblet of some sort. I did leave. I just came back. A technicality, Sir Dwarf. But yes, I guess you could say you left and came back. Now, please, why are you still here? Well, I'll be honest with you. This fast tag thing has really been very exciting. But I suppose more to the point, we're waiting for a... Uh... Or to end in order to leave. Make so an we came intuition. We came here on boat in the first place. Everyone make an intuition. Everybody roll. 
and we'll have Lady Tefane rob too. Undoubtedly, Door. I know why he's asking, but Door, make a roll. Oh wow, that's that's at least a couple actually good rolls. That was initiative, um, not uh, intuition, direct. Oh, that's weird. I hit the eye. Um, yeah, it's initiative. Wait. Wait, what did you no, ask me to roll? No, no. no, intuition. It's a skill. Yeah. Oh, is it a skill? Yeah. I mean, Dura yeah. can technically roll initiative whenever he wants. But... <laughs> yeah. Or... I throw the food to the ground and... Fractured, you still with uh, us? That was the wrong thing. Well, here's the thing, though. Intuition is based off of initiative, so it's it still is. the same roll. Ah, uh, kinda. You can have bonus. I'm not trained in it, so it is the same roll. <laughs> I want to use my intuition. Okay, one... Wow, okay, and then we got Evo, Alberic, Garrett. You guys are all coming to the belief that this guy is on the up and up. If there's something going on, he is absolutely clueless to it. Uh, good question, though. Evo actually rolled pretty good. What about your boss? He is. What boss? Oh, the guy in the, um, the Gravity Palazzo's. Oh, Tugan. The, uh, the, the vampire. What about him? He's not a vampire. Sure seemed like a vampire when I met him. No, no, no. Wait, you sound about like Tugan a vampire. or the mayor? <laughs> <laughs> um, he, uh, this is Tugan. Yes, um, the, yeah. the man who doesn't like lights and has very sharp fangs and drinks very red wine. Uh, I can assure you he is no vampire. Okay, but please then, do being to assure me. What, uh, what is your question about him? He is no vampire. You no, know, you say you can assure me, but please then, assure me. Oh, me. well, <laughs> I've known him for years. Okay. He is not a vampire, we would have seen it by now. People would come up missing or dead. No, not necessarily. Also, I'm sure a city of this size, people do go missing or dead all the time. In fact, I know a goblin, three legs, went missing. Yes, yes, about that. So. Okay, we're brushing this off then, okay. Back to the food. <laughs> uh, you, get a, you get a strong sense he's oblivious to any wrongdoing. So, the secret uh, little council of yours, then, they all uh, cooperate together, correct? Yes, we do. You do? Of course. And you all would all definitely share everything together, correct? All sorts of information and activities? Absolutely. And no one would ever go against any of the others and, behind their backs, do something to try to raise their own wealth at the expense of the others, would they? No, no, we are... Collective, except for Rugbroder, he didn't want to be a part. Oh, well, what about these uh, these upstarts you just uh, mentioned previously, who would be uh, able to take bribes and such that you thought may go against no. your will? Literally, the your ju- words are not matching what you say. Nah, the junior members we always have to keep an eye on, simply because they might reveal information we don't want them. Yes, as you said, they might go against your will. The collective group is what you just said, yes? Absolutely. Right, so you just say yes instead of no. It's it's not too difficult. No. <laughs> no, yes, <laughs> correct. <laughs> so, uh, okay. What do you want to ask him? What else? Anyway, um, tell me about this uh, restaurant real quick. Are we basically like a back private room with a single table, or what? You're on the this? second story of a single building. Below is the members' lounge. Above is a meeting room. A long table. You guys are sitting at it. You are the only ones in this room, right? Uh, Magirius has dismissed all the servants, so it's just you and him. Mm-hmm. And pointedly, the food is not poisoned, as we've already discussed. Unless the wine was the activator. (laughs) 
<laughs> or just the wine was poison. That would be much simpler. Although I There's am a uh... reason you clink glasses together. Yes, to make a noise. So, gentlemen. Yes. Gentlemen, I must again ask you to leave. Counselor Tugan has already asked you once. I am here to ask you to leave again. I've explained the Ordo has no sinister plans. I've explained what it does. I've revealed more information than probably Counselor Tugan would even like. But at this point, you must leave. Why? Because you're raising too much attention to the Ordo. Are we? What are we? What are we doing? That's raising attention to the Ordo. You're asking questions. We could just stop asking questions. I mean, you are answering them now. We could just keep asking you questions, or you could just keep telling us things. Yes. Yes, you could. Yes, and that would put a end to the problem. Yes. How about this? What happens tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tukin has called for a small ritual that supposedly is going to make us all rich. Yes, a rich ritual. Yes. Some Why would a ritual uh, make you rich? I mean... I'm not sure, um, but I trust him. We've, Evo, we've you had... fool, it's in the name. Rich, you will. We've had... <laughs> we've had a, a few of them. A, a few small rituals. Nothing much. Uh, a little bit of strange chanting, and that's it. I am pointedly staring at him in silence as he describes this. And you've not questioned this at all? No. Why should I? Nothing wrong with it. I suppose... Uh, the I suppose uh, Magistrate Richter didn't tell you what we reported to him at all, did he? No, Matt Strike Richter's sick. He's at the Physician's Guild. Is he now? With perhaps an engorged tongue? I don't know the details. Well, I believe our physician may tell us very soon. But what he perhaps will no longer be able to tell you is of the circle that we found down in the sewers. The one that summoned the demon. He didn't tell you anything about that, did he? Nor did Kloss after he was informed. Demon summoning? What? No. no that. What do you suffice mean? Suffice to demon? say, the. Uh, suffice to say, the uh, ominous green moon that's been showing up these past couple days is not. Neither the start nor the end of suspicious goings on in Bergenhafen. All right. At this point. Come hey, on. Hey, actually, hold on, hold on. Like, says, come on, 15 so, guys, jump in a room. Come on, 15 guys. Yeah, no, that's... only he was poisoned. And we're going to get framed for murder. No, um, he, uh, it says demon summoning. What are you talking about? I thought the order shared everything among each other and would well, never conceal do. something from each other, especially never, not to their own gain. I have never seen a demon, sir. Never. Neither had I until a day ago. Nor am I pleased with being sent down there to my death to try to deal with it. Where was it? Uh, I will try to give my best description of, like, underneath this such and such area. Do you remember the handkerchief? Ah, uh, yes. Handkerchief, my lady. And, and you I pull think a... she'll pull that out to this point, I would suppose. Yeah, and gives it to him. That's FS, Van Steinhager. <clears throat> There's a demon down there. Was. Not anymore. The dwarf is actually rather capable. At this point. That's most curious. Oh my. 
And you see he's starting to connect the dots. He's not standing He's not standing near a window, is he? As you watch him, when all of a sudden you see the watch commander again starts coming up, you hear a commotion from below. And you hear numerous footsteps coming in through the members' lounge and starting to get to the stairs. What do you guys do? Grab for you the must axes. Tell me, it is, it is important beyond anything else. Which warehouse? I don't know. We're to meet later tonight. Damn it. How do you not know where you're... Sorry. <clears throat> How do you not know where they're supposed to be meeting at? I don't know. Uh, we're meeting at Tugan's house later tonight to discuss what's going to happen tomorrow oh, night. Right. We don't, I don't know. Look over here. Do we know where Tugan lives? Yes, you do, actually. It's yes, on it's map. on the map. Um, right, but I'm very confused now. at most points. Mm -hmm. So there is a window, right? There are multiple windows out of here. However, you're hearing footsteps coming up the stairs. So what do you do? Start with you, Garrett. Uh, let's see. Garrett will take a quick look out the window to see how many guardsmen might be outside in that direction. Um, you see the remnants. You have no idea how many in total. Um, but you could see a bunch of them. They didn't surround. They're not being that smart. Uh, they're all just piling into the members' lounge. And you probably see there's at least maybe 10, 15 still waiting to get in. Okay. So Wait, there is at least a side of the building which they didn't surround. That's good. No, they did not surround the building. Yes. So uh, is there a window to that side at all? Yes. Excellent. Uh, Garrett is going to open the window. And okay. he is going to try to get out. Okay, so you're going to open the window, and you hear McGarry say, No! No, I didn't order this! What are you doing? The, gu the uh, guard captain... Er, uh -huh. I forget, who was it uh, the captain was speaking to? Or no, it was with you Magistrate. See, ah. but yeah, you see the Magistrate. And this is Megarius. He gets up and he goes to the stairs. Says, no, I didn't order this. As he's shouting down the stairs. And you open the window and do what? A climb down. Okay, make a scale shear surface. Do you have scale shear surface? Otherwise, uh, No, there is climb. actually a climb skill. They changed there the is name a finally. Climb, but there's a talent for scale shear. So go ahead and roll. You really want to make this. Yes, I do. Uh, we're only two stories up, so it shouldn't be too hard of a fall. But wow, okay, thank you, game. Your climb. All my luck finally came back. You climb down without an issue. So at this point, you are out. Let me uh, get all this. Oh, he's still. Good. Um, you are not there at the moment. Um. So, let's put Garrett over to the side. Next. Who wants to go next? And what are you doing? I'm just going to quickly say the Magistrate. Magistrate, I have good reason to believe the captain is in on whatever is going on here. For your sake, I would suggest you follow us out. No. He turns to you with just this look of shock. Absolutely not. <coughs> And you see him go back down the stairs. Captain, what are you doing? What do you do? Um, if that's the case, then I'm just going to follow Garrett. Go ahead. Make Hopefully he makes a good distraction. Make a climb. This is a bit of a challenge as you're going down. Yep. Hey. You're down. Nice. Thank, God for good, thank God for good strength. Dornara, what are you doing? Hmm. I wanted to stick around and see what happens with the captain, but I'm pretty sure I'll die if I do that. So I guess I will follow the others for the moment. Make a climb. I am willing to try and catch Dor. Okay, if he you falls. can. Yeah, you can. If he falls, then there will be a catch attempt. Nope. He, do you want to reroll? 
You haven't used yeah. any yet. I only have two, so. <laughs> you want to use everyone? Uh, I'm going to hope that I get caught. Okay. At this point, go ahead and make a, both of you make ballistics. Uh, one or two. How many people are going to try to catch them? Evo, you said you were. I didn't hear it from Garrett. Go ahead. Make a ballistic. Let's see if you catch him. Let's, let's give it a go. Ballistic? Boom. Like... Yeah. No good. Like catching, like throwing stuff. Range. Oof. <laughs> um, okay. So. Missed. At this point, you fall. Roll a die 10. Uh, that's you, Dor. Roll a die 10 off the dice roller. You fall 11 yards. Okay, 11, basically 11 feet. Um, which is going to be 12 points of damage plus a Jeez. die 10. No armor, no toughness for falling. So um, let's go ahead and roll it. Yeah, falling in this game is brutal. Uh, but you get to make an athletics plus 20 to see how many yards you can offset. Am I rolling? Athletics plus 20. Hey, that's So good. you offset three of the four, and you take nine wounds. No armor, no toughness. Actually, toughness comes into play. Armor does not. So, like so crappy fat that self would do better than that. Yeah, so... Uh, it's, yeah, uh, well, people kill themselves falling off of horses, so I think the rules are somewhat accurate. They're also a reaction to 2E in which everyone was an Olympic jumper. So... Also, you are falling onto <laughs> friggin' cobblestone. That shit's hard. Okay, now, Alberic, what do you do? Climb me out the window at the, uh... It's a bad idea, but I'll do it anyway. Go ahead. But yeah, but Dora, it was like Muppet Christmas Carol, where you make it easily. They just Durak, what are you doing? I take one last bite of food. I take one last swig of drink. Just drop the cup anywhere. It don't matter what happens to that damn thing. Uh, uh -huh. Can I see the doorway from where I am? There is a staircase. No, the doorway that the magistrate walked out of to talk to the guard captain. Can I see? No, he's at the stop. He's at the top of the staircase, just shouting down. Oh, okay, but I can't see any of the guards that are marching up this way. No, nope. no, they haven't made it yet. All right, well, I've given the tone of what's going on here. I'm gonna march to that doorway where the stairway is, kick at the door, and say. To draw your weapons on a slayer is to sign your own death. Come up here if you will, but know that none of you would be coming back to your families after this. Make an intimidate. With what skill? Intimidate. No, with what skill? I mean, uh, it, it's actually intimidate. Yeah, no, with what skill? I don't know what question is escaping. Uh, there's a modifier. You have to choose one or the other. So I'd probably just say go strength. Strength is your primary intimidate skill. Right. So it I just know in well, I think yeah. it's originally set to fellowship, and I had changed it to strength. But then, oh no, 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 yeah. yeah then I, I didn't remember what I changed yeah. it from. So <laughs> they default to fellowship and change it to S for strength. Um. Uh, so you are, probably are comes you out more like. <laughs> Yes, sorry, chicken, chicken bone in my mouth. That is a giant burp. Chicken bone in my mouth. Would uh, you like to uh, try and re-roll that, Derek? Nope. Uh, Lady Tafane looks at you before she um, she falls a little bit, but lands on her feet at the uh, base. Excellent. And she goes, uh, but before she leaves the window, she says, Derek, come. Don't, don't die here. Don't die here, silly elf. It's like you don't know who you're talking to. There's uh, a better fight waiting for ya if you manage to, to survive. That the damn night. Ivo, his voice is always on the goddamn wind. Okay, and she exits out and leaves. So what are you doing, Durak? You're gonna fight these guys? 
I mean, if they come at me, I fight them. If they if they back down and you know choose to see their oh, families yeah. ever again, then yes. They can't back down. Um, this is the watch. If they back down, they lose all face. Yes. Um, well, I will make them lose their face as much as I've lost my face. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And you do have a narrow corridor to fight them one at a time. Yes. So their numbers will count for shit. Okay. And Already actually, the accent's getting lost. Uh, yeah, it is a little bit, but that's all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's pull you over to here. Here we go, Derek. Well, so you're at the top of this staircase. That's a really long staircase. If I shorten that up. It's the infinite hallway. We, we told tales of this back in... Oh, you almost found out where I was from. Ha ha ha. Okay. Every square is going to be a yard, so... And then you see a whole slew of watchmen. And as you come there, you see the watch captain is pushing all the other watchmen ahead of him. Because <laughs> that's the way he is. And here they come. Yes, of course. You all wear him down. I will. <laughs> I'll take care of him after you're done. Okay. Um, and they start rushing up. And here we go. Um, ah, come on. God dang it. Hold on. Let's get that out of here. And here we go. Just ask so, before you start rolling anything. Make sure that you're not rolling in secret unless you intend to be. No, that's all right. Okay. Um, I'm not. No, I, just, it's, I mean, since we've had, it's happened before, I just want to make sure. Actually, initiative at this point does not really matter. You, are... yeah, it's me, and then it's every. No, it's a couple of them, yeah. and then it's me, and then it's them. <laughs> yeah. So what we'll do, um, yeah. See, it doesn't really matter. You get to go first, and then they go. We'll just do it that way. Sure. So, um, because of the order, doesn't make sense when you're in this confined space. So go ahead. You get first assault. All right, attack. Axe swing. I guess as they're coming up at me, we're like almost evenly footed now. Uh huh. High ground. And that's a hit. Oh wait, and... wait. That's uh, uh, the target number is two less. I still have two advantage written down for some reason. So that's a four, and this guy fails. So that's a plus four, thirteen, sixteen point hit. Um, less armor. And nine point hit, that's nine wounds, so now I know that. Um, well, um, of course, um, I, Slayer. I don't, didn't mention yeah. I have Slayer now. Yeah, that, that won't help here, okay. because that's against bigger creatures. Um, uh, no, so, uh, the damage, uh, the toughness, <laughs> the damage being toughness versus strength <laughs> one. Yeah, your you take on the strength bonus becomes the toughness of your target. Right. I just you meant you have higher strength than the toughness okay. of your target. That's why I just wanted yeah, to clarify. So it won't matter. That's not surprising. So sixty eight, eighty six is your second roll. Um and your oh actually O two is your second roll. Um but your target number is forty eight. So that uh, is sixty eight. My target number is sixty eight. Not with the offhand. The offhand is minus 20 until you get Ah, oh, yes, damage. right. You're correct. Sorry, I forgot right, about that right. one. So that's 13-point hit. He'll try to oppose that. That's a plus four. Uh, he takes two off, but you, I'm not even going to do critical hits. We're just going to do sudden. Um, so this guy comes in. You gain an advantage, both hit. This guy comes up and attacks. Oh, wait, wait. That was just the first... I still have movement and then my oh. other free action. Oh, you got a frenzy, don't you? Well, you haven't frenzied yet. Do you have? And you don't have furious assault. Oh, right, right. I didn't frenzy yet, but I could still do that in the turn, couldn't I? No, it's an action to actually frenzy. Oh, it. okay. <laughs> All right, that's my bad. We'll just write that one off. Nick, your your running... move. What's Are that? Are we running death blow? Uh, yeah, he does get death blow. So you move down, and. At this point, you do get another attack anyway against this guy. So go ahead and roll. Why would I get another attack? 
Uh-huh. No, I said, why would I? You were correct the first time that I didn't frenzy. Death blow. Oh. Well. When you kill someone, you get to get another attack. Oh, is that... Up to your willpower bonus. Okay, so is that triggered to uh, do wield as well? Yes, it does. Okay. Fire away. <laughs> and so it was that round that uh, Rock killed three I guys will uh, re-roll that one. I'll use a fortune point. Yeah, um, actually, why did I get so high? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's correct. Well, I'm still going to go for it, though. I'm re-rolling. Go for it. Or you can use the resilience if you want to keep your advantage. And you have the higher value. You hit. Um, you do nine wounds to him. Um, the second shot is a 71. And a 71 versus 58 is a minus two. And you have the... Oh, he had the higher value slightly. It's minus two, minus two, but he has a higher value. <coughs> so you lose your advantage on that one, and that guy gains it. Got and it. he attacks you back and misses horribly. Go ahead and roll. Roll and opposed. Good. And you gain an advantage on that, and you get to go now. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, sorry, I hit attack. Is there a difference in the macro between attack Not and really. opposed? Okay. Not really. It's fine. I'll take the roll. Okay. It's just bookkeeping. It's I... bookkeeping when we're going back to figure out, did we miss a roll? Right, I forgot what OPP <laughs> right. stood for, and I just kept hitting attack. Okay. <laughs> so, go ahead. Now, you're up. You can now choose to frenzy. If I you will wish, choose to frenzy, attack. which is a willpower roll, right? Willpower roll, right. You're working yourself up to a frenzy. Wow. I will re-roll that and use my last fortune point. Go ahead. There we go. Grimnir is with me. Okay. Um, and you, uh, you are successful. So he goes ahead and attacks. He has one advantage. Well, I used it. Doesn't that give me the free uh, attack? This oh, still? this round, you get the free attack. You're absolutely right. Go for it. We want to use his roll as the opposed? Yeah, we'll use the roll as the opposed. Go for it. Um, wow. And you hit Good him too. for more damage. He dies. You get a death blow. Okay. So you hit him before. So you move forward again. Go ahead. Uh, do I get an advantage from that? Or is that yeah. not? Yes, you do. I just wanted to mark it down before I, you know, move on to the next roll. And roll your attack. Wow, it's like I'm off investigating a warehouse with two other guys right now. Okay, and you are blocked, so you lose advantage. He gains one. Can I use resolve on this post? I mean, resilience? Resilient. Post, Resilient. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, to do that would be auto success. Yes, you can. All right. I'll do that. You spend, spend a resilience, which makes your test result either 11, which is critical. Yeah, I'll go with the lowest uh, I'll go with the lowest critical that I can take. 11, which gives you a plus 5 success level. You have the higher target number. You win. So that's going to be a 14, a 9-point hit. Um, and um, and then you get the critical to the head. Roll it. Uh, what's the critical? Uh, just straight up critical hit to the head and no modifier. Three more. Um, I told him, right? <laughs> Same wounds I've got. He dies. Okay. Um, and now you get another death blow. Go again. Uh, it brings me up to two advantage, right? Yes. When I take my resilience down to zero, that does that one, also... Run one, one advantage. You lost your advantage. Oh, no, that's right. You maintained it by using your result, resilience. I had one resilience. I bring it to zero. Yeah. Does my resolve just automatically go to... Uh... Zero, yep. Okay, except for the fact I have the talent that gives me one extra resolve. So I still have one and resolve. You get to, you keep one. Okay, just want to make sure keeping everything accurate. Yeah. Go ahead, make your assault on the death blow. Anything you want to do about that? 
I no, because all I have left is fate and resolve, and I don't want to spend any of that. <laughs> okay, so he blocks that. You lose your advantage. Then he attacks with the spear, and you are minus ten because of the fast quality of the spear. So um, oppose at minus ten, and that's going to be a thirteen point hit to the left leg. All right, I have. Four toughness on the legs. So that's nine. All right, I've taken nine wounds. Okay. Still perfectly fine. Wait, oh, sorry. Put that in the wrong field. And now you get to attack. There we go. All right, attacking again. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a second. Uh, Frenzy gives me modifiers. Oh, plus one. Uh, to the SL or to the damage? Hold on, I've I got think. this here. I got Frenzy. it right here. I got it right here. Um, it's in-game, if you can't see that. Can you see Frenzy in the description? I can yes. see it when you post it, yeah. That's a good thing, yeah. though, because on mine, all I put was, you can Frenzy, as described on page 190, and nothing yeah, else. Yeah, there you go. You get a strength bonus, plus one strength bonus. Um. Now, you are frenzied, so that means you can't back out of this even if you want yep. until you take a blow to your noggin or something like that. All right, so what did I roll here? I rolled... A minus one against my plus three. Yeah, you hit, and you do... Uh, you wound this guy. Okay. All right, that's and the first. Go, uh, so that was your dual wield, right? Right. So the second one is a 48, and you rolled 23. That's plus 2, plus 11 SL. He's going to go ahead and oppose, and he blocks you. So you don't gain an advantage. You actually lose advantage, and this guy has no advantage either. So right, but I get to attack have... again, though, because I'm yes, frenzied. Yes, you do, because frenzy. Roll again. It's just like a series of clanging noises. Yeah. No, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. You're just a whirling dervish. Right, but the right fact hand. that I'm probably just not making much sense either, because I'm just, you know, foaming at the mouth. Oh, whoops. Sorry, that was the wrong oppose. She <laughs> okay, so um, you hit again for 13. Um, he is still up. And the critical does not cause damage because it's a shield. Um, oh, and I was really hoping to get a new scar. Well, actually, I guess shield can do it. Yeah. yeah. Critical hit. It's undamaging, so it means you're going to be taking one half the wounds. Okay. Um, nah, not with a shield. Unless, I guess, it slices across the arm. Um, huh. nah, not with the shield. I can't believe. Well, I don't know. Can shields be that sharp? I mean, it depends on what kind of shield. Are these the peaky blinders of shields? Yeah, no, no. It's uh, t typically shields and dodging can't cause. Crit Is this the one asshole guard that's been sharpening the edge of his shield? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna pull this gonna... off one of these times. I'm going to err on the side of caution and say that, um, that uh, no, the shield can't cause crit. So, at this point... Unless it was like a Hoplite who have shields that are kind of for that. But, something, yeah. but yeah, well, not you, this. You, you can split the skin with a blunt weapon. I've done it to myself with a nunchuck to the eye socket. Not, not like this, where you gain four bleeding conditions. No. <laughs> um, okay, so here is the counterattack. So he did block you. You lose advantage. He doesn't have advantage either. I had none to begin go, with. Go ahead and do your opposition. Did you roll yet? Yeah. Oh, there okay. we go. I'm sorry. 64. So you take 10, less your toughness. All right, so I take 6. Um, Bringing me to 15 taken so far. Let me see what's going to happen here.
Um, if Durak kills enough people, does is that eventually going to start causing yes, psychology morale issues? Check. Morale check, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so he hits you for 10 less your toughness. Yep, I already take it. Okay, and you're up. All right, Roll swing it again. Okay. You're all just in meat. If I could just keep some advantage, it'd be getting easier and easier, but it's it's not. Okay, so you can't. That's a 12 point hit. He goes to oppose. No advantage. And that's a. Ooh. And this guy took wounds. You got this guy. So now you step forward and do your death blow, and then you get your frenzy. So roll again. Uh, advantage, right? Yeah, you get one advantage for that. Thank you. Um, uh -oh. um, hold on one second. Yeah. You have anything you can do? I guess I could use a fate point, right? You don't want to use a fate. I point. do want to use a fate point. Really? I do. It's one of my only things I've got left to tap, and I really don't want... I mean, I know what you're saying, but I'm also yeah. saying that I'm not going to use it to not die, so <laughs> I might as well use it. Okay, 01. That is a plus 6, 15-point critical. So go ahead and oppose. And misses. That's a 17-point. Um, he is about dead. And you um, uh, get your counterattack is an 01, so that's a 10 against 48, so that's a plus 13, and that takes him out. You get another death blow. That's your second. Jesus. Can you move your token up a little bit right over the other one? Uh, roll 20 is acting weird on me. Got it. Okay, so... This is your next death blow. He comes in and shields. Oh, wait, that should be uh, one higher for a second advantage. Okay, so you got plus one. That's a ten-point hit. This guy takes some wounds. Um, then the reverse is 57. Your, oh, it's 07 versus, <laughs> versus 58. That's plus five, plus 14. He takes seven more. He is still barely up. You gain an advantage. Um, do, a question in the order: uh, death blows versus my extra free attack. Now you get your free attack. Okay. Because as you're death blowing, you keep death blowing until you hit your willpower. Right. Once you start death blow, once you stop death blowing, then you go. Back I have to a blowing. very high willpower, so. <laughs> yeah. So if you kill this guy, you get another death blow. Um, and you've done three so far this turn. And that will kill him. So now, do you, you just keep moving forward. You have to engage. Move yourself yep. up. And my 20 is getting really weird. It gets weird where when I try to move a token, it moves the map instead of the token. That's probably right. Cause yeah. is, your, um, is your background texture for the map on the <coughs> map layer, or is it on the token layer? I'm on the token layer right now, but no. I'm really... saying, is the texture that you're using as a background on this oh, map is on that? Map. It's okay. On the map. Okay. Well, that's that was yeah. just my first thought. Okay, so go ahead and you get a second advantage or another one for that. No, Thank I'm you. at max advantage. Doesn't matter anymore. Go ahead. Um, and this is uh the fourth death blow. This would be the fourth death blow. All yep. right. So I still have some to go. Uh, that's a hit at plus, that's a 10 point hit. Uh, this guy takes that. And now at this point, you reduce that 62, reverse that minus one. He gets a second oppose and he blocks the second one. So you don't gain an advantage uh, because of the push. I'll say you don't lose it. Well, yeah, you have always... That's the negative of dual wield. You always have a chance. So you do lose your advantage. Um, he gains one. And here comes three attacks against you. The yes. first one is just straight up with advantage. They're also outnumbering me, right? Yes, they are. And yep. you're going to be minus 10 because of the spears. Fast. So go ahead and make a roll. 
uh, you do not have the higher advantage. So you take a seven point hit to the left arm. Oh, Second. I've got to use something. Because a seven point hit will uh, take me to above my total Less wounds. Tough. Oh, Less that's tough. right. Um, let's see. I said four, right? Wait, is it four huh? or five? It's Let me four. just double check. Toughness is, yep, 48. Okay. So, less uh, four. Would be three. Uh-huh. Let me back to my combat tab. Yeah, I can take that. I'm fine. I'll, I'll keep going. Okay, so you're fine. You lose advantage. Here comes second one. Ooh. For the record, keeping at home, I have taken 18 wounds so far. <laughs> yeah. And you, um, you make an oppose. Minus 10. Uh-huh. I will fate point that. Okay, you fate point that. And then the third one comes in at plus 40 for the three on one. Boom. Ooh, and I didn't roll well. You could block that. Block it. And you do so. You gain an advantage. Your turn. You're up. Sorry. Every time I go to type something in, it's always. The original number stays, and it slows me down for a second. All right, uh, I'll attack the guy on my right. Okay, go for it. <coughs> Add. Damn it. He blocks. Guy on your right. Um, and it means I have my uh, my free attack still. You have your free attack. Oh, I lose my advantage, or do I keep it? You lose your advantage, yeah. Ooh, nice hit. That's 15. Same guy? Yeah. Um, he is barely up. Damn it. Um, and, but you get your second attack, which is 60, minus 2. He has a chance to oppose that. And he does. So you lose your advantage. He poses your second strike. Yes. All right. So now we've got the three watch guys here. Uh, first one attacks. Now at plus 40. And this sort that of thing. Dead, for... What's that? Yeah, that one's dead. Don't worry about this. I'm not oh, even okay. following the uh, the turn order. I uh, lied to you quickly. Yeah. You block that. Gain an advantage. Second one. Plus 40. <laughs> we make another one. Oh, give me your bless this man. All right, so this guy has suffered a light wound. So this middle guy, his weapons damage. Uh, you gain a second advantage. Here comes the third. Oh, terrible rolling. Um, but that one, uh is successful. So you lose your advantage again. He gains one here. And um, all right, you're up. Uh, I didn't. This guy's what, looking pretty beat what up. What damage did I take? Uh, you. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about that. My bad. Uh, ten points. Less your toughness. Four is six. Six, which puts me over the top. Okay. By how much? Uh, by five points. Okay, and this is two, the body. Here we go. Oh, wow. No. Wow. Except it's not. Hey, that was a terrible roll for you. That was a 94. Um, I mean, that's awesome, though. <laughs> it's, it, it, that's That exactly. made that guy's day. That guy's going to be, like, going to go home, and <laughs> he's going to be like, I tore a slayer in half. Actually, in this case, the spear just goes straight through you, comes out the other side. Right, he hefts it into the and, air, and my midsection gets lifted from the bottom and, half. And then as he pulls it back out, you collapse to the ground. Ah, oh, uh, so awesome. Okay. And he is dead. Uh, we'll take care of that in a little bit. You have a backup character, right? Yep. Yeah, I thought so. And at this point... You guys are here on the other side as you're hearing motion. Durak is screaming in a frenetic manner and a frenzy manner. And 
tons of combat going on. You did take 10 people out. Or how many? Five, six, something like that? It's one, two, um, three, four, five, six. And I really hurt yeah. one guy. Yeah, you really hurt one guy. With that but idea. again, you got to imagine the life of this guardsman <laughs> that just killed a, a slayer. I'm picturing, like, post-traumatic stress, like, everyone's dead, and then I ripped someone in half. Oh my god. I'm imagining a young Sigmar who's going to go off to an amazing military career after this. I'm just throwing that out there. What do you do, Garrett and everyone else? We... Uh, well, I believe we're getting out of there. The only question is, where exactly? Where are you going to run? Um, probably gonna see about getting back to the, uh, back to the safe house. Wait, we need to get the halfling, too. Shit. All right, let's... Oh, God, I hope he isn't dead. What do you do? Tell you what, take the boat. Uh, I'll go fetch the halfling, try to go hide by the boat, and I'll be there as soon as I can. Alright. Okay. Um, you guys run. Everyone here, make stealth checks, please. Door, that includes you, everyone. I'm going to make one for Lady to fame. Looking field, activate. Oh, oh, stealth roll, not stealth urban. Okay. Now, um, you're lucky, Dor. You saw a watchman pass by. You were wide in the open, but he didn't even look at you. Um, so you guys make it to here. And your boat will put it, say, somewhere right here, maybe. Or over you need here. to switch maps so we can see the map you're on. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I've got to switch off of the Slayer map. Um, here we go. And you guys are right here right now. We'll put your boat right here. What do you do? Thor, what are you doing? Fractured? Sorry. Being distracted at the moment. No worries. What are you doing? I'm just continuing to follow for the moment. <coughs> okay. Evo, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, we're... Well, make sure the boat's ready to go and just keep an eye out. For so you're, you're looking... You're going to stay right here in between the warehouses? Yes. Okay, so, and Alberic, what are you doing? Going to the boat. You are going to the boat, okay. Um, uh, Evo, go ahead and make a perception. Oof. Um, you see, it was actually an easy roll. You see um, Watch coming this way. They were here at the docks. They're now running in towards the um, towards the uh, Golden Trout. Um, okay, so Alberic, you run to the boat. Make a perception. All right. Also, make a stealth. Perception first. That sucks. Doesn't matter, either order. Just rolls perception, roll stealth. <coughs> Your stealth, you make it across easily without being noticed. Your perception. Um, I got a uh, 64 out of 47 minus two successful. You see, watch marching up this way. They haven't reacted to the noise coming from the cross pikes. Uh, too much other people out. Uh, too much other noise. But they are walking this way. Okay. Uh, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Alberic? 
thinking, uh, got to wait for the others to get there and uh, get the boat to the other side. Okay. Or go under one of those um, entrances. Okay, Garrett, what are you doing? Uh, I am trying to sneak my way down over to the Physicians Guild and fetch Harball. Okay, so you Gold are right here. Five. You are right here. So, um, you make it to right about here. <clears throat> Go ahead and make another roll. Okay, do. Let's see if I can dodge everyone. Plus three, still pretty okay. You're across and to the guild. You go right. into the guild, and Hardball says, this guy's died of the... Uh, he's got a big purple tongue and bulging eyes. Uh, Richter does. Dead. No, a physician doesn't think he can help him. He has no idea what to do. It's, it's some sort of magic with theirs. I fear they could do it at will. If it happened yeah. to one of us, you might have to figure out what to do. I have to go let him know. <laughs> Fine, let them know, but we have to leave immediately. So you see Harbaugh go back in. He's talking with the physician. Physician shakes his head, okay? You and Harbaugh leave. Where you want to go? Your token. Uh, well, I do want to try heading towards the dock and the boats. For, move your token. Where? Going uh, through side streets? You're going straight down Nolan Weg? Uh, I'm going through side streets. I'll go kind of back this way first. Okay, make a stealth. Two stealth. Minus three. This feels like fate point time. Uh, I mean, not fortune. fate, fortune. That's right. Uh, remember, it's opposed by a perception. Uh, Harbaugh's fine. Uh, it is, but at the same time, rerolls are necessary, I think. Um, one. You don't have to, uh, uh, unless you want to. Okay. Okay. So you rerolled. You're fine. Make one okay. more. To get back over to here. And I will roll for Harvel. Right. I like to imagine Garrett is trying to keep Harvel uh, safe and quiet here to some degree, you know, too. Harbaugh's pretty sneaky, being a half Who'd have thought? Um, uh oh. Oof. You aren't, apparently. Yeah, well, I've, I've, I just have bad luck today. As you know. come up here, um, you see some watchmen. And they go, hey, you! Looking at you, Garrett. Uh, running time. Is the boat over there? <laughs> yes. All right. It's running time. I'm just hopping on that boat. Evo, you too? Yeah, we'll all, we'll all haul ass over. Okay. All of you guys jump on. You get onto the boat. You start pushing across. You see the watchman assemble over here. And they immediately uh, start running down here towards the ferry. Oops. That was wrong. Right. Okay. They're going to try catching a boat, too. But hopefully we'll be on the other side by then. Oh, god darn it. Stop all that. Thank you. Okay. Now, so you guys now pull the boat as fast as you can across. And these watchmen are... Still running uh, as you guys are about over to here. You see the watchman waiting for the ferry. They're motioning to the ferry to hurry up. <laughs> um, and you uh, you land at the dock and just go straight to the safe house. Uh, everyone else can go to the safe house. I'm going to basically just try to hide the boat so I can still use it later. Go! Make an intelligence. Great. Yeah. Uh, Make an intelligence. Int or I? Int. Int. Yeah. Would anyone question. be willing They're actually to? Uh... The same number. Yeah. Hey. <clears throat> yeah, you think you hit it well enough, and um, these guys are now on a ferry, slowly getting pulled across. Uh, you hit it kind of over here. And now mm -hmm. you run to the safe house and hide. Excellent. Uh, the watch on the pit side um, are clueless to what just happened. So they have no idea. Uh, 
and you guys are now in your house, safe house. So what do you want to do? Oh. Um, sadly, uh, at this point, out of character, I am actually going to have to uh, depart early. Oh, Sorry, that, that, that. To wrap it up. I think that's a good point to wrap it up then, right here. I think it's perfect oh, point right. to wrap it up. Um, did you get the Doom talent, Durak? No, it never came up. No? Okay, you didn't get a chance for the Endeavor. No, we All never right. had any Endeavors, so... Okay, so, at this point, um, you get 100 for the session... Did I give you experience last time, or were we mid uh, you No, did, I did. Because I leveled I did. up to spy. Right. Well, so, so isn't Doom just for humans? Uh, you can actually take it as an endeavor. Theoretically. Yeah, you I can. think last time we were joking, like, who's going to stop the dwarf? What it really means is you go to a doomsayer, and the doomsayer pronounces your doom. So it is possible for a non-human to get doom. Um, but at this point, 100 for the session, uh, did you, let's see, you, I'm going to give you 25 for your investigations. Thank you. And I will give you another 25 for Megirius. Thank you. And... Awesome. Uh, and I achieved a short-term goal. I now have enough to live for a week without working. There you go. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. And at this point, Durak, add 150 to your character's XP. Take one half of it and apply it as a bonus to your backup character. I'm sorry. You mean 75? Take 75? <laughs> no, no. Take Durak's current XP. Add 150 to it, take one half of it, apply it to your current character. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not in the rules. The rules don't go that way. But I, at the later stages of the game, if you guys die, a starting level character will die. Can't Doesn't have a chance to survive as things mm -hmm. get more difficult. Um, also, in the morning, um, you're awoken to a knock on the door. And someone comes in, and you can see it is one of the thievy guys. Uh, uh, Dieter is his name. And you've seen him before. He's from the Thieves Guild. Mm -hmm. And he has a message for you. And he says, we received this. And he hands it to you. House of Battle Ring. As soon as you're able, Megarius. How nice. And that was the one that we had talked to, just to confirm, right? Yeah, that was the guy who you talked to who was surprised that the guards were all rushing in. He thought he had it all under control, and yeah. he did not call for the guards. And of course, the two possibilities are here is he kept his mouth shut, went to the meeting, has information, and can give us it directly. Or he spilled the beans in his double crossing. So I mean, we could always find out. That's always that's a for next time. Next yep. time on DBZ. Exactly. On DBZ. It's next over nine thousand. In three. <laughs> okay. Next time on DZZ, the party dies. <laughs> what will happen to the party on this next episode? It's okay. It's only the world that's doomed. It's uh yeah no no Warhammer is tough because you're the very people you're trying to save are fighting against you. Oh yes. So well, we made at least two allies today. And yes, you did. Yeah, or you may have. You'll find out next week. <laughs> okay, so at this point, we'll bring this back to here. We have our first dead Hall of Fame, and Durak is the first. Not going to be the last. I feel it would only be appropriate to like put his kill count next to him now. So, and as you guys get back to your um, house, uh, we'll say Evo steps forward. Everybody listen to your music if you've got it turned down. Except for, unfortunately, I think Durak or Theta, Theta can't. 
you might want to see if you can. <laughs> and then all of you start joining in. <laughs> Thank God Lady Tafane's not playing tonight. All right. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Wait, well, so, now stick with it. Stick with it. No, no, I've I've heard the song. I know. <laughs> I've got a good bit of experience now. The question is, do I learn to read now or later? <laughs> it's a farewell song. Down six guardsmen with him. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. So that's my death music. Um, Your death music is about an enormous penis. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, the point is, yeah, it's not doom and gloom. <laughs> okay, so you guys are ready for next. Uh, hopefully we'll have, um, there we go. Yeah, I like that. Took down six guardsmen. Love it. I um, mean, you know that's not what he'd be shouting from the afterlife. No, he's happy to well, be dead. Well, he doesn't get a choice. No, he's totally happy to be dead. Hold on, hold on. And actually, if you had made a couple more rolls, you would have rolled through all those guys. All of them. The death blow is just brutal. There you go. That's what he's shouting. All the way to the grave. Where'd you put that? The Warhammer chat. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Okay, guys. So we're going to call it this week, and next week we will pick it up. All right. All right. Catch you all next week. All right. Talk to you later.